ordinarily when the mind is um, exhausted of asking questions, well, they've all been answered. It's just kind of this just, you just turn up at a satsang and you just kind of sit there and no questions come up. Nothing's coming up anymore. At that point, turn. Something else reveals itself. And there's no questions coming up. Just it's just quiet. <laughs> I try and try and get people to see that by asking them directly, are you conscious? Aware, yeah. Being, yeah. Alive, yeah. Let's have some interest in that. Instead of the mind. Who is <laughs> not tired of the mind? <laughs> Come on. If you've, if you've turned up here, you've had enough. <laughs> had enough of trying to work it out in the mind. We've been trying to do that our whole life. Work out the meaning of life and the meaning of myself and events that have happened to me and to others and trying to work it all out. You do that till the day you die and you still won't have worked it out. <laughs> Might be some reframing of mind. Yeah. That's what a good uh, psychologist or therapist is about. But there's still going to be mind. This that's sitting here right now. There is consciousness of mind. And we don't notice the consciousness. We're just interested in the object. Content of mind. until we're no longer interested in that. And that just happens. Yeah. And part of that process is question, 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 question. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, what about, but, 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 but. We're aware of mind from here. You're aware of the computer in front of you from here. And we don't notice this here. And I'm not referring to a body when I say that. Consciousness arises here, constantly. <laughs> Consciousness doesn't live in the past or the future. It's brand new and fresh here. Whilst there's a mind still asking questions, yeah. there's no interest in here. It's not until the mind starts to go into abeyance that here is even noticed.
What is this? What is this? the direct experience of seeing. What is this? The seeing I'm talking about. What is this? We don't notice it. We don't notice the seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling. What we notice is what the mind is saying about the seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling, i.e. I see. That's what we notice. We're not <laughs> what about the seeing? That's a direct experience. But the, the direct experience of conscious, not conscious of, conscious. It's direct. And where we often get stuck is uh, it's me that's conscious of. It's just conscious of. <laughs> I try and get you guys all the time to see that you're actually conscious of for me. <laughs> so how can it be me that's conscious of? <laughs> And all our life, we've been running on a belief, it's me that's conscious of. Really? What happens when we create amnesia in the person and their me's gone? <laughs> you couldn't say it's now me that's conscious of. There wouldn't be one. No identity. Look in the mirror, you don't recognize the face. No identity. Can we now say it's me that's conscious? Of? You don't even know who me is, what it is. No background, no memory, no history, nothing. And perhaps while we've all been sitting here, some minds have been saying, I'm not quite sure I get that or it would be good when I understand that. And yeah. it's like, okay, good. At that point, you'd be conscious of the mind asking questions or chatting away or having a seeming opinion. The mind, you'd be aware of that occurring. Or there's absolutely no interest anymore in mind to the extent that it doesn't even arise. No questions. No questions. Often when you get there, what, what is often experienced is you'll just be sitting there listening 
And what will just constantly keep arising in you is yes, 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 yep, yes, yep. And then it just in and of itself, by itself, it turns. You know, if I put that dualistically, we start to become conscious of being conscious. Which is still in the realm of duality, but subtly so. Abide there in that silence, in that stillness. Mind might occasionally throw something up. That's okay. No interest. Your interest is this. Just this. And the this that I'm referring to is your own direct, is your own direct experience. We have no idea how profound it is to be conscious, aware. Have no idea until we are. And the reason we have placed no value on it is because we believe it's me that's aware. Me that's aware. Me is generated and created by mind. Mind doesn't usually have a very high opinion of me, of the me. Subsequently, it's me that's conscious. Eh, no big deal. So. anything other than this is just the mind. Now be with this, not the mind, be with this. Remember, Anything other than this is the mind. 